Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wycliffe from TechHood254 and I'm really excited to have this opportunity to be able to share about something that has so many people concerned. Several people are interested in learning how they can make money or how they can start a business with zero capital. And so this is a question that we get a lot uh, on our channel as TechHood254. And so before I get into all of this, let me like introduce myself and let you know a little bit about who I am and what TechHood254 is. So I'm a digital entrepreneur and an innovator and TechHood254 is a digital space that my fiance and I created to help people learn how they can make an income online, specifically in Kenya, because that's, you know, our heart is drawn to the Kenyan audience. You know, I remember in 2016 when we were graduating from college and we were stuck. We we're trying to figure out how exactly are we going to make it outside of campus, you know, without your parents assistance and uh, help and all of that. So we had to really get you know, industrious and resourceful. And so finally, we got to learn how to make money online. Uh, and we've been doing that for the last four years. We've been working as content creators. And this is something that has helped us to start our own business. And so I'm really excited to be able to share uh, this information with you all. And yeah, that's it. So before I even get into the video, let me uh, share a philosophy that my fiance and I have as we run our business. We believe that it is God who gives us the knowledge to create wealth. So. I want you to watch this video with that perspective. This is drawn from Deuteronomy and uh, I think it's in chapter eight. You could go and check it out. So having that frame of thought, when we talk about zero capital, you know, most people are thinking capital and relating it to cash, relating it to money. But if you watch this with the frame of thought that it's God who gives us the knowledge to create wealth, then you will realize that knowledge in itself is capital and you can always you can only do as much as you know or as much as uh, you've learned. So watch this with that in mind and I'm pretty sure you'll be, you know, you'll get value out of this. So the first uh, business model, and uh, I'm going to be talking about digital business models because that's the space we're in, digital entrepreneurship. The first business model that I want to share with you is affiliate marketing. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, what you need to know in essence is how it works so that you are aware of whether this will work for you or not. So I want you to have in mind uh, somebody who owns uh, a home or a house, a rental apartment as an example, and they want tenants to come and live in their house. And so they find an agent to help them bring tenants to their home so that you know they can have clients. Usually this agent, when they bring someone to the house, uh, to the tenant, uh, to the landlord rather, they get paid a commission. So affiliate marketing works in the same way. But the only difference is that affiliate marketing happens online. So what happens is you find a company that has a product or a service and they, the best thing about affiliate marketing is that you don't need to have any money to start because they already have the product, they already have the service, and they have all the systems set up for the business. And so all you're doing is you're marketing their product on different platforms, on your social media handles, on your, on your Instagram, on your Facebook, if you've got a website on YouTube. They will give you a specific link that is unique to you, and you have to simply share this link on these different platforms. Now, whenever somebody purchases a product or a service using your link, then you get paid a specific commission. So there's so many industries in affiliate marketing and a few of them are the health and fitness industry, the traveling industry, the automotive industry, several. You just have to pick one and run with it. Once you've got the concept, once you've got the concept, um, that's basically all you have to know. So you can start affiliate marketing really easily. You can begin that today. You don't need any money to start. You just have to have the idea and the tenacity and the consistency because if you start today and you don't put in the work, 
it's not going to pay off. Now, the second business model that you can start with zero money or zero capital uh, is print on demand. Now, this is something that I've talked about in a previous video that I did on YouTube and it got a lot of traction. So many people were interested in knowing what print on demand is. And I guess it's because, uh, you know, people are interested in wanting to learn about the businesses that you can start, you know, today, as soon as today. How can you start, you know, making cash today without really putting in a lot of savings in the bank? And so print on demand is definitely something you need to consider as one of your business models if you've got limited cash. Print on demand is basically where you have a company that deals with printing of products. And these could be a wide range of products. They could be clothing items like t-shirts, hoodies, you know, trousers, cups, hats, you know, basically anything that you could get a print on. And you're working with this company and the only thing you are required to do when it comes to dealing with a print on demand company is that you are creating designs, you're creating uh, interesting texts, you're creating uh, illustrations or anything that would go on a t-shirt or on a hoodie or on a, on a hat. So uh, print on demand, you don't need any capital to start because you don't need to have your own outsourced uh, cups or t-shirts or whatever to start. The company has all of these things for you. And the only thing you're required to do is create the text. They, uh, when somebody makes an order, uh, they will pay you a commission every single time somebody buys a product that has your print on it. So it's, that's the revenue model and that's how it works. You create an image or you create a text and it goes on all of these different products. And so whenever somebody orders, they will ship that product for you. They handle the shipping, they handle the cost of the t-shirts and all of that. So the only thing required of you is creating the design. And that's why it's called print on demand. You don't need to have a storehouse of all of these things and you're wondering how you're going to get them out into market. They also work well with you to promote your products on uh, their site. And a lot of these sites, a good example is Teespring and Amazon. It's a place where so many people are already going anyway. So you don't need to have to worry about how am I gonna market or how are people going to see my products? As long as you've got those design skills and as long as you can find some interesting texts and memes and things like that that you can put on a, on a t-shirt or on a cup or, or on anything that can have a print on it then you are good to go so the next business model is the knowledge business and in this industry what you're actually doing uh, is you are creating a business around selling your knowledge your experience and your expertise so if you watch youtube you found channels on there about just about anything. People are teaching anything from how to bake a cake to how to crochet to you know how to throw a javelin. Whatever you want to learn, you can learn that. But the special thing about the knowledge business is you acquire information, you become an expert and an authority in this industry. And then there's a huge audience of people who would want to learn how to do what you're good at. So basically you're selling your knowledge, your business and your expertise, and it's pretty much free. You can start YouTube today. The only thing that you need to invest in is your skill. And like we started off this video is the knowledge. So knowledge is capital and knowledge is power. Now I've talked about three business models that you can start uh, from scratch. I know, uh, people are interested in wanting to learn a lot more about this. And so, like I mentioned, Tekka254 is a space where we talk about these types of businesses. So I invite you to, you know, head over to our website and uh, uh, shoot us an email and check out our YouTube channel as well and subscribe because we have a lot to share with the Kenyan audience about this information. And if you're interested in learning any of these business models, 
that uh, we have shared in this video, then definitely you can contact us at techhood254.com. It's been a pleasure to create this video and to share this information. And I'm pretty sure several people will run with the information and start businesses even with zero capital.